that students assalamu alaikum i hope you would be safe and sound inside your homes from 21st of september 2020 the partial classroom work or teaching has resumed it is better to attend school on your return regularly with all sops and precautionary measures in mind and you have to follow the precautionary measures and sops and letter and separate to save yourselves from this deadly virus first life is should be given the first preference then then the other things that are supporting are related to life their students the pandemic covid-19 considered to be born from wuhan city of china is putting really life in danger yesterday a huge chunk of people from jndk was declared as covid positive they were tested as covid positive in the entire world touching 9 lakh people 10 lakh people died so better is to save our lives first and then should give preference to this second things or rest of the things that support life your students your academic career no doubt met with the huge losses and these losses can be compensated by tomorrow and the after tomorrow once the life is there their students class 11th to today were dealing with a very important question that is the council of ministers <laughs> their students india has adopted the parliamentary type of government in a parliamentary type of government there is a double septic executive all the powers are given in the name of president but in real they are exercised by the prime minister the president being the head of the state while the prime minister is the head of the government when general elections takes place uh, after 5 years for the parliament the party that gains the majority forms the government and the ministers of first of all its prime minister is appointed by the president of india on the advice of the prime minister the rest of the ministers are form this is how the cabinet or the council of ministry ministry gets formed there are two three types of ministers that we watch and see one is the cabinet minister and there are minister for state and third is the deputy minister in 19 in 2002 when first united first constitutional amendment came in in which the the size of ministry was reduced to 15% of lok sabha a person who becomes a minister remains in the charge of his department if he is cabinet minister but if he must be the member of the parliament in case of non member he turns a minister or gets appointed as a minister he or she has to become the member of the either house of the parliament within 6 months their students so i am repeating the things india has adopted parliamentary type of government in parliamentary type of government there is double set up executive all the powers are given in the name of president but in real they are exercised by the prime minister president of india is the head of state while the prime minister is the head of the government when general elections takes place whether in whether for the parliament or for the state legislatures the party that gains the majority choose their head and head of that very party becomes prime minister in case of the parliament when general elections are there central elections are there in case of the state legislature he or she turns the chief minister on the advice of the uh, prime minister his cabinet is formed or the council of ministers is formed first the prime minister of india is appointed by the president of india on the advice of the prime minister the rest of the cabinet is formed there are three types of the ministers that is the cabinet ministers minister for state and deputy ministers and these three categories is collectively known as council of ministers and this council of ministers is headed by the prime minister and prime minister then serves as a link between the, this council of ministers as cabinet and the president both in council of ministers you find three types of ministers one the cabinet minister these are called the ministers of first rank they are in the charge of they are in charge of in, they are given the independent charges 
they are the head of the political head of the departments like home like finance like health for example rajnath singh is the cabinet minister and and there is a second set of the minister that's called the minister for states and they are given the independent they may be given the independent charge or not so minister of the states the second category of the ministers and third category is the deputy ministers and min, deputy minister min, deputy ministers are junior minister minister they assist the cabinet ministers in exercising or in carrying on their work their students the first rank ministers that is the cabinet ministers only take the cabinet decisions the rest of the ministers are not a part of the cabinet they can, they can they are not required in the cabinet but when um, they are being called to attend the cabinet meetings they can attend otherwise they are not they can they can't attend the cabinet meetings by their selves so it is all about the council of ministers let me repeat the things once again council of ministers means the that is the executive branch of the government after 5 years when the general election takes place for the parliament and in case of state assembly 5 years or 6 years term is there the party that gains the majority choose their head and the majority of that very head of that very party becomes prime minister in case of the parliament and in case of state legislature he or she is the chief minister first of all the prime minister is appointed by the prime president of india in case of the state it is government of the state who appoints the chief minister on the advice of the prime minister of india the rest of the council of ministers is formed and in case of status on the advice of chief minister is governor appoints the rest of the ministers so there are three types of ministers that is the cabinet ministers minister for state and deputy ministers cabinet ministers are they are given the independent charges of are they are the political head of the departments and the minister of state they are sometimes given the independent charges independent charges are sometimes not and they are not the part of the cabinet they can enter in the they can sit in the cabinet decisions only when they are called upon to do so and there are third category of the ministers that is the deputy minister they, these are junior ministers they help the uh, senior cabinet ministers in carrying on their work their student this is all about the council of ministers remember there is a double double executive the council of ministers is headed by the prime minister who real head is the prime minister all the powers are given in the name of president in real they are exercised by the council of ministers or cabinet headed by the prime minister of india so there are three types of ministers you have to minister of first rank second and third cabinet ministers minister for state and deputy ministers oh um, this is all about the council of minister citizens you are new to the political science with you have now opted political science is one of the subjects with the passage of time you will grasp all the things initially you will find difficulty in learning these things but within short duration of time you will learn all political terminology their students keep in mind in 90 in 2002 the 91st seven conscious amendment came in in which the size of ministers was reduced to 15% of lok sabha and a person who turns the minister must be the member of the parliament in case he is non member is not member of the parliament he has or she has to become the member of the parliament either house of the parliament within the 6 months this is all about the council of ministers headed by the prime minister thanks be well asked